Okay, so we're going to consider convex spherical mirrors. That's I can use the same mirror that I had before, but this time I'm going to come from this side. But the focus and the center of curvature, or the radius of curvature, will still be on the concave side. But I'm going to put my object over here, like so. Okay? <clears throat> now, how do I apply these rules uh, that I had before, right? Well, if I have a ray coming in parallel to the optic axis, like so, since the focus is over here, what I can do to construct the reflected ray is consider the virtual ray going through the focus over here. So if you'll just simply lay out your ruler like so. There we go. I'm going to draw a dotted line for the virtual line over here. But the reflected ray will look like this. And probably another good option would be to reflect off the pole, because there we can just use the law of reflection to figure out what the uh, ref reflected way ray looks like. So if I draw from the head to the pole, like so, I want to get a comparable angle over on this side, reflecting out like this. I think that looks... Of course, one way to do it would be to measure this height here. And that is going to be where we're going to go to, over here. There we go. So there's my reflected ray there. It would be interesting to extend this back as well. Oh, that was terrible, sorry. I've got the extension of these two rays, and you'll notice that what you end up getting is a virtual image again, just like with the, the flat reflectors, except that look how small uh, the height of this guy is compared to this. Uh, it would be bigger if I moved it closer, but if you've ever been in a car and looked out the rearview mirror and uh, you see it say something like objects in mirror are closer than they appear, this is why because your, your rear view mirror, or not, what do they call them, the side mirrors on a car are actually convex mirrors, convex spherical mirrors and they're used because we can reverse this and think of rays coming in from this direction right, will follow exactly the same path right, and this allows me to see a much wider field of view uh, you, you see them at parking garages a lot when you pull out there will be a big spherical mirror that allows you to see all the traffic coming from around the corner where a flat mirror would not allow you to see those. Um, so that, that's the use of that. The image is virtual, which means it's behind the mirror or appears to be behind the mirror. And uh, yeah, and that's it. That's all I'm going to say about convex spherical mirrors. Next we'll derive or show the relationship between the focus and the, the radius of curvature.